Hi, and um, well, looks like you made it to the uh, section on uh, the extra, extra music and song list that's provided in the supplemental section of this uh, course and syllabus. But uh, before you get started <clears throat> with these songs that are, you, you're going to play or about to play <clears throat> or want to play, I want to let you know that before you start this section, okay, you want to keep these things in mind because the uh, the upcoming songs that you're gonna about to play, try to play, um, these songs are considered intermediate to advanced. Okay, so if you uh, wanna minimize the potential amount of difficulties that could occur because the songs maybe uh, music is is a little bit uh, beyond your um, capability, you wanna do these things, techniques before you start this section. It's just to remind you. Okay, so before you start any song, music, uh, exercise, whatever, you want to preview the music. Rather you have the music physically with you or you're writing down the music off the board, okay? You want to write it down, uh, you want to preview it, you want to look it over, make sure you kind of understand it before you start. If it looks pretty foreign, if it looks too difficult, then maybe you skipped over too many lessons or uh, uh, tutorials to get to that spot. You want to back up and go through some earlier tutorials and uh, get a better, stronger foundation before you try those uh, uh, music or songs. Uh, you want to look for any problem spots. So as you're looking through the music, is there something where you could do like maybe a chord cock exercise or maybe you need to write it down or Oh, you need to just review it <clears throat> a little bit more, but something to help you smoothen out your problem spot before you start. Next, one of the most important things is you want to do a chord cock exercise all the time, every single time you start to play, do an exercise or anything. You want to do that chord cock exercise, okay? Uh, you want to be able to make your left hand uh, adapt and make that chord automatically so you don't have to think about it so you can concentrate more on your right hand technique or your rhythm or looking at the music so in other words you want to get those chords out of the way as soon as possible so do your chord cock exercise you know if, if you don't you're just going to have a, a a little more difficult time trying to piece everything together when you're trying to learn a song uh, next take notes Okay, in this section, once again, it's not a beginning section, it's an intermediate to advanced. So, there's some music here that you know is meant for like advanced players. Okay, so um, there's going to be information or music that's you know a little um, complicated, I guess you can say, or maybe a little harder than what you're used to seeing or understanding. So, take notes, write, write in your own words. Uh, what it means to you or how you understand it once again take notes uh, next you want to do a chord strum exercise if if the music is uh, a strumming music um, you want to do a co cog strum exercise to get the feeling of the music before you play it so the rhythm the feeling of the music is a part of you before you start okay you, you don't want to have to be figuring out the music before you start some of the music in this section uh, consists of some uh, interesting and um, challenging techniques that are covered in the course. Okay, so if you skip those techniques that were covered in the course, you're going to have a hard time playing uh, some of this music that's coming up here. That, Like for instance, the, the four finger roll, uh, that particular strum. If you haven't been practicing that strum, uh, during the course of uh, you know while, while the lessons were going on and when the uh, tutorials were popping up you're gonna have a hard time with that particular uh, song and uh, finally you want to complete the course okay the online course the regular basic course you want to complete the course before you move into these songs okay because these songs are a lot harder than playing the songs in the course so at least if you finish the course you have at least enough foundation <clears throat> on your <clears throat> on your hands both left and right in 
corridor work, making chords and uh, strumming or, or picking so that when adapting to these new songs, uh, extra songs that's provided, it's not going to be that difficult. So if you're skipping over some of these, uh, you know, uh, uh, chapters in the course to get to this section, okay, you, you're going to have some rough spots and you're going to have some difficulties in uh, playing the chord. Okay, so just letting you know, you want to keep these things in mind, you want to do these things, you want to be aware of these techniques and uh, information before you start this section. Okay, that's very, very important because I don't want you to get discouraged. I want, I want you to uh, proceed with the, the minimal amount of difficulties and challenges as possible because uh, you know it's really fun stuff to play but like I said you, you know besides practicing you, you gotta keep these things in mind okay so when you think you're ready we'll see you for the next lesson